Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most again. It is Team Rara. Anywho, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Okie dokie, now I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, this video will be an article. Okay, probably a lot of you know about this information, but I'm going to try my best to explain. Okay, in the 2024 Hall of Fame and Ceremony, will take place immediately after SmackDown on April the 5th. Now, I don't know if it's going to be recorded or live. Does anyone know? Okay, at the world, in the home of the Philadelphia 76ers and home of the Philadelphia Flyers in that nice stadium. I think it's kind of old. I don't know. I'm, I've never been there. Pennsylvania. According to the latest wrestling reserve newsletter, the W chief um, um, contact officer Paul Triple H Levet will be in charge of the show the first time. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> and I also heard he will have full control of who will be in, inducted in the W Hall of Fame class. About time, who's really worthy to be in the Hall of Fame? Because you know how I discussed in the past, like some guys are not worthy to be in the Hall of Fame. What's the point of putting them in the Hall of Fame if they didn't really do nothing but his damn company? I'm being honest. Now, I know Goldberg is not a fan of the W Hall of Fame class. I agree. Now, It'd be nice if Triple H finds a way to put the W Hall of Fame like in the in the museum. That's what the fans really want. Not like a a ceremony for WrestleMania weekend. We don't want that anymore, in my opinion. We want um we want um we want a place for that kind of stuff, okay? In my opinion, okay. We want, you know, that we could do it. We're supposed to do it in Orlando, you know, out there, but it fell through. So, Triple H, find a way to have a, a building and people could see it anytime they want. And that just because it's WrestleMania season. I mean, it's nice, but no. We don't want to be there for three or four hours. I was there only one time. In my life, I attended the Macho Man ceremony with my dad, and it took forever to finish. No disrespect for the wrestlers, no disrespect, no disrespect for the people who wrote these speeches, but it took forever. Okay, now if they ever decided to make a Hall of Fame building. Exclusive to that, and they keep adding more. Like for example, like they do for the NFL. If you want to go, go. If you're not, it's not a big loss. Okay, but they keep adding more and more. They could do the same thing with the W Hall of Fame. Make it legit this time, not just like a rink a dink Hall of Fame thing. They do it for only exclusively at um around WrestleMania season. That's it, because they haven't found a billion yet. Hopefully they'll find one because you know W has tons of money. What it can do it at the um, at the new um, Stanford building, put it over there. Then how about that? That'd be nice. What's your thoughts? My ideas. Probably a lot of you don't like my ideas. Hey, anyway, the arc will be down below. Now follow me Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Now if you want to be part of the Bible show, that's fine. Again, if not, don't worry about it. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Later, Gator.